OK, now. Everybody wiggle a little bit. Because what's coming up now. Is difficult. We're going to be talking about negative exponents. Now for some of you. You probably will never have seen a negative exponent before. You're going to hear a kitten crunching. OK, here we go. Negative. Exponents. And what they do is they affect. location or position of the number of the base. They affect the location of the base. So our first example here is not a, a no, it's not a nine, it's a P. P raised to the negative nine power. Now P is your base. Negative nine is your exponent. The negative sign affects the position of the base. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take, not a break, but we're going to step away from this for a minute and step into the world of make believe. Everything in the world in this other dimension. Um, everything. Everything lives in. A two level apartment building. Yes, they do. So here are the apartments upstairs. And here are the apartments. Well, actually, they're just boxes down here. So one, two, three. Three on the bottom, three on the top. You either live upstairs or downstairs. That's it. Well, this P is busy living upstairs, and I know that because there's an invisible one in the denominator. In this world, everything is a fraction. Here is where the upstairs apartment is, and the denominator is where the downstairs apartment is. Well, this P does not want to live upstairs. He wants to live downstairs. So this is what we have to do. P to the negative nine over the invisible one is going to be P on the bottom to the positive nine. And now, one upstairs means it's vacant. So P to the negative nine equals one over P to the positive nine. It all has to do with location. Now, here we go again. We have one over a to the negative six. Upstairs apartment, downstairs apartment. 
The upstairs apartment is vacant because there's a one there. And the downstairs apartment has a to the negative six in it who doesn't want to live downstairs. So we can make them both happy, or at least we can make a to the negative six become a to the positive six by letting it move upstairs. And when it moves out of its apartment, the apartment downstairs is now vacant. So a to the six over one is a to the six. Because remember, one is invisible. One is invisible a lot in algebra. Now, just to show that a negative exponent does not affect the sign of the base, we have base negative two and we're going to raise it to the negative three power. So negative two raised to the negative three is living upstairs unhappily over a vacant apartment. Negative two wants to move downstairs. And so negative two moves into the bottom apartment and becomes negative two to the positive three. And now the upstairs apartment is vacant. Ah, but it says rewrite using positive exponents. Evaluate if possible. Type an integer or a simplified fraction. That means I have to actually go ahead and find out what negative two to the third power is. Well, negative two times negative two times negative two. Let's see, negative two times negative two is positive four, and then multiplying positive four by negative two will give me negative eight. So this is going to be one over negative eight, but my math lab will probably say that's a little bit wrong because you never want a minus sign in the denominator. So I pull the negative sign out front, Put the one there and the eight there. And this is our answer, an incredibly long negative sign. Let me do something about that. Negative one eighth. Cool as grits or beans or something. Okay, now we're going to do a few more problems. Five to the negative nine power times five to the third power. We have like bases and we're multiplying. So we're going to use the product rule. This is going to be five equals base five. The base is five to the negative nine plus three. Negative nine plus three, you put that in your calculator, you're going to have five to the negative six power. Uh-uh, yeah. <clears throat> Which is, because the instructions say, simplify your answer 
type exponential notation with positive exponents, so we cannot leave it there. We have to be aware that, OK, 5 to the negative 6 is an unhappy apartment dweller living upstairs and who wants to come downstairs and be 5 to the positive 6. And so that's our answer. Let's do a few more. Ah, OK. 8 raised to the negative 6 power times 8 raised to the negative 7 power. That also is going to be the product rule. I better save. Yeah. Save. OK. Well, we're multiplying. We have like bases, so this, this is the product rule. I write the base once, and then I add the exponents. Negative 6 plus negative 7 equals 8 raised to the negative 13th power equals 1 over 8 raised to the positive 13th power. Now we've got like bases with X. They're not numbers. X to the three times X to the negative seven equals X to the three plus negative seven equals X to the negative four equals one over X to the positive four. Because again, the, um, the instructions say to simplify our answer and use positive exponents only. So my math lab would be very unhappy with a negative four exponent. Okay, now, negative eight times X to the negative six times five times X to the negative eight. How you do this is you multiply the numbers together negative 8 times 5 times x, okay, x to the negative 6 times x to the negative 8. Well, 5 times 8 is 40, so 5 times negative 8 will be negative 40. And then we have like bases, so we're going to, and they're being multiplied, so we're going to add the exponents. Negative six plus negative eight is negative 14. So negative 40 times X to the negative 14. But can I stop there? Let's see. Nope, it says simplify using only positive exponents. OK. Well then, let's break this apart a little bit. 
negative 40 times x to the negative 14 can be thought of this way. Negative 40 times x to the negative 14th all over one. x to the negative 14 is going to be moved down here where it will become x to the positive 14th power. So we'll have negative 40 over x to the positive 14th power. And I could put a times one up here, but negative 40 times one is negative 40. So my answer will be negative 40 over x to the 14th. Let's make that a little bigger so it's easier to see. 